Hey Sky, I am so glad that you're here. I have something to talk about with you, but it's kind of a secret. Sure, but I don't get it. Why would you keep so many secrets from anyone, Matt? I don't know, maybe it's because of the fact that I might have to get a new magic book. Ever since Serena has been getting mood swings, she has been thinking that everything is food. And I am pretty sure that it is not a joke, because she was that cranky enough to a point of where she had to almost eat it. Hee <laughs> hee. Now that has got to be the most craziest joke that I've ever heard. In all seriousness, I wasn't really joking, she was really literally hungry. So, what the heck are we doing here then? I could have sworn that we were going to pick up a new book for somebody. Okay, if we are going to buy a new book, then could you please not tell anyone about it? A book is not a secret, that wouldn't be possible. Oh yeah? What if someone with superpowers changed your mind? What would you do? Nice try, Matt. You think that you're going to hypnotize me into keeping secrets that ain't even a secret to begin with? Ha. Huh. It's not likely possible. Well, what if I have done it already? Then I would literally block my eyes so that you couldn't do it. Jude, nobody is able or has been able to mentally block hypnosis. And that's the gosh darn problem. People have free will. And it's not like you're able to do this in a subliminal way by saying just done random trigger word or just waving your hand. What? What the heck? What was that? Pretty sure that was just someone on the road and driving. There is no need to whisper about that. Cars are not a secret either. Okay, the library is gonna close at 6 p.m. tonight. Do you want to pick up the book now or later? Um. Sorry, my head is starting to get a little fuzzy. Ah, uh, sure. Why the heck not? I think that I got an idea where the magic book aisle is. Maybe we should ask someone else who's here. <laughs>